All right, guys, welcome back to another FAQ video with Pride Roofing and Construction. I am Christian Griffith, the owner here. Um, today, what we're talking about is uh, differences in materials. Uh, there's a common saying, there's roofer grade products and then there's builder grade products. What does that mean? Um, roofer grade products is something I would put on my own house. As a roofer, this is the quality of material that I'd like to use, which is why I'm encouraging you, you, you to use it as well. Builder grade products, what does that mean? Builders generally build quickly and they use materials that are gonna be budgetarily constricted to be able to offload that house at the highest profit value that they can and move on to the next and they'll let the warranty take care of itself. Now, every material has, has its pros and its cons, but in this video, what we're gonna talk about a little bit is the different types of materials we like to encourage people to use and why and also what to avoid. Um, our three particular preferred um, shingle, uh, our three preferred shingle manufacturers are Malarkey, CertainTeed, and GAF. In that order, why? Because we want quality over quantity. We want to be able to provide you with something that we're confident is going to withstand the storms and be able to uh, weather your home and protect it for the future. Everybody has a guy. They've got a paint guy, they got a fence guy, they got a flooring guy. We want to be your roofing guy. And in order to do so, you have to be confident with the product that we apply on your house when it's time to re-roof. The reason I brought up those three different manufacturers is because of A, their warranties and how quick and responsive that they are if there is a manufacturer defect, and B, the lack of warranty work that you have to do with those products. Like I said, um, no two people are the same. Well, no two roofing manufacturers are the same. With Malarkey products, you have the inventors of SBS Modified. They are the first people to ever rubberize their asphalt and give it the, the, the contents to withhold and withstand all of the different elements that Colorado and uh, North, or Southern Wyoming will throw at you. Same thing could be said for certain teed and for GAF shingles. They also are large uh, manufacturers. They're readily available and they have um, the support within their organization to be able to actually service a warranty without giving you too much hassle. Now, a lot of our clients ask about classes. Every manufacturer has a product line in which they have class two, three, and four shingles. They probably also have a designer concept, um, but a class four shingle with a malarkey roof versus a class four shingle with one of those builder grade type of products is going to actually withstand um, more and more impact in hail and wind storms. It's gonna be able to withstand the extension and contraction that uh, the Colorado temperature swings uh, provide and all of that sun, sunlight exposure on the 300 different days of sunlight that you have in Colorado. What is the UL22 test? Well, essentially, if we want to break it down to its shortest form, it's these guys drop gigantic steel balls out of the sky at different diameters and different heights to see if it would withstand uh, the fiberglass within your, um, your shingle would withstand that impact. If it's a class four shingle, it'll be able to withstand two inch hailstone impact, um, come in at uh, speeds at 40 miles an hour or less. If it's not class four, it doesn't meet that rating, which means it's gonna be fractured in a hailstorm. But like I said, no two shingles are the same. This, the class four listed uh, malarkey shingle versus a class four lifted, listed builder grade shingle, they may pass the test, but it's not gonna withstand all of the time and uh, external factors that the, the that the environment will bring to you. So we at uh, Pride Roofing and Construction, we are always confident with our presentation with you that we'd rather put a quality roof on because this is what we put on our house, this is what we put on our mother's house, and we happen to love our moms. Hi mom, love you. But anyways, we want to give you that uh, because we don't want to put something up that's just going to fail on the next hail store. We want it to withstand. And then we want you to use the information that you have a trusted roofer to deliver to the people who may not have made the right choice in the past. I could go on and on for uh, hours about the differences between the types of materials that are available to you. Um, but the most important information I can give you to answer this question that you might have in your hand is which product to choose. Ask your contractor if they don't have a confident response that's similar to the one I just gave you, reach out to our team and we'll be happy to assist you. That's it for today's video, it was short and sweet. There are differences between different types of materials. No two shingles are the same and we'd love to tell you more about it. Please reach out to us if you have any more questions. If you have additional questions that'll be relevant to other people, please engage with uh, these posts. Like, subscribe, share it with people that, uh, that you think might need this information. And uh, we'll see you next time.